in today's video, I'm going to take you through everything that I bought for Black Friday and for Cyber Monday. And I'm also going to throw in a couple of little things that I purchased that same weekend that weren't necessarily part of sales, but I'm just going to include them because I'm not going to really film another haul for them. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So the first thing that was on my wish list and has been on my wish list for a very long time are redone jeans. And if you guys have never heard of redone jeans, they're all over Instagram. They're like vintage jeans. Sometimes they use Levi's. I don't know if they only use Levi's. I know that they use vintage jeans and they alter them to fit your body perfectly. And I'm very, very picky when it comes to jeans. I do my research on jeans, especially vintage jeans, because they can be a little unflattering sometimes. That's why I love my wedgie fit jeans, because I just feel like they fit so well for being so vintage looking. So I was very, very intrigued by these jeans and they just looked so good on literally everybody on Instagram. So I always wanted a pair, but these things are like $250 to $300 for one pair of jeans, which is ridiculous. And don't get me wrong, I've always, always said that if I'm gonna splurge on a piece of clothing, it is going to be a pair of jeans because I feel like I wear jeans more than anything else in my closet. I definitely, definitely get my money's worth when it comes to jeans. I wear jeans almost every single day. And if it's good quality and it's gonna last me a long time and it's gonna withstand a lot of washes, in my opinion, I think it's worth splurging but i still think that the only way that i will purchase these jeans is if they're on sale because they are very very pricey the ones that i chose are the stove pipe straight leg cropped ones and i am so glad i got these because i can't tell you guys how in love i am with these jeans i think i need them in every color there is a reason why there's so much hype around these jeans if you can get them on sale then even better but if you're somebody that wears jeans with literally every outfit if you're somebody that really really gets good use out of a good pair of jeans i 100 percent think that it's worth splurging on good jeans everybody has their thing a lot of people would spend thousands of dollars on a purse uh, a lot of people would spend 700 800 dollars on shoes for me it's jeans always has been and do i think that there are excellent jeans that are a lot cheaper yes you guys know that i love my wedgie fit jeans i love top chop jeans next sticking to the little cropped straight leg vintage looking jean trend i got another pair of wedgie fit jeans but these are the cropped straight leg and these are in the light wash i don't remember the name of the washes but again i always link everything down below they just look like this and they fit exactly like my other wedgie fit jeans to be 100 percent honest i think these are my favorite fitting wedgie fit jeans that i have i have three different colors of the regular wedgie fit jeans and these are my favorite fit so far i am so so happy with these they're true to size i'm a true 28 or a 6 in every other jean and i got these in a 28 and they fit beautifully these are pretty cropped these are more cropped than the redone ones but i don't mind that and i'm pretty tall i'm 5 8 and i don't think that they look like ridiculously cropped so if you're in the market for a more inexpensive pair of cropped straight leg jeans that fit beautifully definitely recommend these the next thing that was on my wish list were wrap dresses i've been obsessed with wrap dresses ever since i first laid eyes on one i absolutely love them and they are so incredibly flattering on everyone so i i really really wanted like a cute mini wrap dress to wear with like higher shaft booties that like are snug on the ankle kind of like sock boots i i just want them in like every color every pattern i just need every wrap dress available but the ones that i wanted were sold out but i randomly walked into express to look for gifts for some of my family members and i looked at the wall and they had these three very beautiful wrap dresses and one of them was very very similar to the original one that i wanted and it looks like this and it's just a kind of like satin or silk 
looking wrap dress it doesn't tie the one that i wanted does like tie it's an actual wrap dress this one just looks like a wrap dress but it doesn't really wrap but it still gives the same effect and it looks very beautiful on express is not like my go-to store but some of my favorite like basics that i've had for years are from express they last me a long time they're fairly well made and for the most part you always get almost everything in that store on sale so i saw this and i was like oh okay you know whatever i'll try it on and i tried it on and i really really loved the way that it looked i've also had a pair of patent ankle boots in my wish list for a long time but i am so incredibly picky when it comes to ankle boots because whenever i find one that i like the heel is too tall or i don't like the front of the boot or the shaft is too short or it just doesn't hug my ankle as much as I would want it to. I wanted something that I can wear with wrap dresses. This is the main reason why I wanted a very particular style of boot. I wanted it to have a little bit of a heel. I wanted the heel to be chunky. I wanted the front of the boot to look a certain way and I wanted it to really hug my ankle and come up pretty high on the ankle. So I had like this list and I wanted it to meet all of my little requirements. I think I did like a random search on Google and these came up they look like this and they have like a two inch chunky heel and they come up pretty high on the ankle and they hug my ankle so they're kind of like sock boots but i don't know if they're really considered sock boots i don't know they, they don't they don't look as cheesy as some sock boots look i know that this kind of like patent catwoman kind of leather is not everybody's cup of tea but i got them for like 40% off. I wanted something different, something that I wouldn't normally get, but something that I've kind of been having my eye on. So I wanted a pair of patent leather boots and these are just so beautiful. And they look so, so good with very mini wrap dresses or like mini skirts, anything that shows your legs. The toe is not pointed and it's not completely round. It's like a squared toe but they did it in the most beautiful way because it's not like completely squared, it's like perfectly squared. I don't know, I just really love these. They're so comfortable. The next thing that I'm very excited about are these earrings. And these earrings weren't part of like a sale or anything. I just randomly came across them. I'm obsessed with anything tortoiseshell. I just need everything in that pattern in my life. There's something that you can wear year round. Like these are beautiful for spring and summer and i think that you can pull them off for fall and winter because they're pretty dark and they don't weigh anything i really love bold hoops but sometimes they weigh a lot and my ears are very sensitive these literally don't weigh anything and they just look so cool they make such a statement next this is another thing that wasn't necessarily on sale but it doesn't have to be on sale because everything from this line is incredibly affordable I got a couple of things from The Ordinary and a lot of you have actually recommended this brand to me and there is so much hype all over YouTube for this brand. It is a very, very affordable brand and they also have foundations. And the foundation that caught my eye was their serum foundation. I saw a couple of reviews on YouTube for their regular foundation and I decided to go with the serum one and I am so happy that I did because so far i really like it i don't want to talk about any of this too in depth because i've only been trying everything for like a week but so far i really really like everything that i tried so much so that i placed another order for a couple of more of their stuff i'm probably going to end up getting like half of the line because so far i really like everything that i've gotten i will eventually do like a review on the brand somewhere right now i'm in the color 1.2 n i also got the color 1.0 n and 2.0 n because i i don't know i didn't know what color i was and they're so affordable that i just ended up getting all three colors to get a perfect match and just in case i ended up liking it to just have it for summertime when i'm a little bit more tan and again so far really really like this it's what i'm wearing today um, the next thing that i got from them is their high spreadability fluid primer it only takes me like a couple of days to know whether i really like something or not and so far i think that this is one of my favorite primers that i've ever tried i cannot really attest to the longevity of it but the way that it feels on my face and the way that things go on on top of it i am somebody who really struggles with patches and dry skin and a lot of the times 
foundations can like cake up in certain areas of my face and I always tell myself you know man I wish there was something that wasn't necessarily an oil that really helped with the spreadability of my foundation my exact words and then I went on their website and I saw the name of this and I'm like okay I have to try it and then when I tried it it did exactly what I thought it would do everything just goes on so beautifully on top if you guys don't really like like silicone based primers i don't know how you're gonna feel about this because this is essentially a silicone primer uh i'm not sure what the ingredients are i will read into it but i'm pretty sure that this has silicone in it feels very silicone-y but i don't have a problem with silicone primers and i just i really 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 like this so far the next thing that I got from them is their Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. This is a hydration support formula. You guys know that I'm dry, so anything that can help my dryness, I am all for. I've only been using this for a week. So far, I really like it. Not gonna get too into it. But you guys will eventually see a review, and if I end up really, really loving these things, they'll make it into my favorites. I promise you guys I will get more in depth, but I've only had these things for a week, and that's just not a fair amount of time to give my true opinion or a review of any kind the next thing that i got is their niacinamide 10 percent with zinc one percent and this is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula i mostly got this to help with my texture to see if it did anything for my texture and it said that it was supposed to help control sebum build up and i i kind of struggle with that in my nose area so that kind of intrigued me and again so far it has lived up to its claims is it a drastic difference that i see not necessarily but it is a very positive difference in the like five days or so that i've been using this product along with the hyaluronic acid so i did order a couple of more things from them but like i said you guys will get a review from me eventually whether it's in a favorites or in a blog post or if you guys really want like a video on it i don't know just let me know but yes so far really liking them i got a dining table if you guys follow me on instagram you would have already known and i am so incredibly excited i've been living here since april and i didn't have a dining table because furniture is expensive okay so my boyfriend and i saved up and we finally got a dining table i got the dining table on sale for black friday the dining table is from wayfair and i got four chairs very colonial style chairs which i really really love like colonial style dining rooms with like a modern twist very very into that and i also got these chairs on black friday i think that for the pair it was like 70 something dollars for two of them which is pretty inexpensive and they're pretty well made for the price i mean i've only had them for like a week but so far i've sat in them and they haven't broken <laughs> and they feel pretty sturdy i mean i built them myself and they haven't fallen apart so that says a lot but yes i am very 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 excited about my little dining table and my chairs and the next thing that i got which i don't i don't remember if i got it on sale or not it is my bedroom rug i really really love bedroom rugs i think that a room is just not complete until you throw in a rug in there I, I feel like they make everything a little bit more cozier and more put together so i really wanted a rug for a bedroom i got it and it's a very 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 plain very simple very basic rug that i feel i would never get tired of and that is everything for this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video